So, yeah, so my name is Javante, as we have spoken before, you get me a binary mm -hmm. I love for the entertainment industry. I love for dance hall. You get me mm -hmm. a, somebody like you or somebody who I look up to from a tender age. You get me, you know, as much as them say we shouldn't watch everything because it's what I put it, some would see it as a bit older for us as young children growing up. The mentality yeah. that you really put us on is something that I love to the max. The favorite thing okay. that I, I pick up from you, from you know, I was watching all your, your podcasts and your, your videos. And you know, mm -hmm. is never be afraid to what do you mean? Never be afraid to um you're saying basically if people upset with you because you actually achieve greatness, you shouldn't be afraid yeah. to do. They get my yeah, don't be afraid to offend. offend. That's the word. I term it as the courage to offend. All right, see they have the courage to offend. Mm -hmm. So so okay. without further ado, um mm -hmm. we'll get into the discussion. But at first I'd like for you to, you know, yeah. bring greetings to, to, to the audience, bring greetings to the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, what's up, everyone? You know what I mean? Yeah, but they are ready to do this thing. You know what I mean? So, so first and foremost, my yeah. first question, and a question I'm sure a lot of our viewers today would like um, to really, you know, the ponder on a lot. You seem, yeah. like you seem different, you know, you don't seem like the typical man who is a part of the dance culture, you know, the, the bleach out face, the tattoo, that, that, you know. So, I want to know who is the man behind the voice? Who is Patrick, behind Curly Locks. <laughs> you know, Patrick Gainer is, I mean, Curly Locks is just a, you know, a, a, a piece, a, a small facet of who I am as a person, a part of my personality. You know what I mean? Because, you know, people don't understand that. Um, people are, you know, people are, are, there are many, humans are complex creatures. But unfortunately, you see me? Unfortunately, psychologically, we, 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 we are deceived by images and labels. You know, and we oversimplify reality based on that. You know, so what, you know, unfortunately, reputation lies, you know, lies to us. So you find so the first thing upon introduction to something, everybody does say, eat that. First, they know that person, they're dissimilar, doing that, hear some joke, then he's not allowed to be anything else. And this is, when we are, when we are, this is what we deal with in a, in a planet hurt. Yeah. You know, this psychological deficiency. You know what I'm saying? The way our belief system turn with natural impulses against mm -hmm. us and just give it this unhappy life. But we, we, we're not contented with nothing at all. Understand reality. Yeah, and we don't know. So we always go around in a circle. So happiness and contentment then are always temporary because we approach yeah. to everything. We approach to reality wrong. You understand? So it, 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 it makes people compress the reality into an oversimplified thing that it's not. You understand? So this is why a lot of people that say, oh, all right, me want particular thing. I mean, I want particular way. Yeah. Javante, I'm person what I say is a particular thing. You know what I mean? Good is a particular thing. Evil is a particular thing. Everything is just a particular thing. And we develop unrealistic expectation from these lies unrealistic expectations from these lies, from this deception. So, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, yeah. Not, not to cut you, but all right. I have been planning to purchase the book. Um, planning to, but being mm -hmm. a man who's followed your podcast, a man, you know, follow the podcast and my job week and, and stuff, and mm -hmm. really intrigued. But I want to know, because, all right, it's hard. A man, I feel a caliber. Again, I saw somebody who look up to, and sometimes I see the camera. I think one time, Last year, I don't remember, but last year when I was in first year, um, I had an assignment to do. And I never remember, I never know for do. And I link you after two in the morning. You gave me, I'm sure that assignment and you want me to do it. You see me? So from them time, I said, you know, there's a man who knows things because, as I said, I feel like some of those know things. You get me? I don't really know the, the specific area, but I just want to say, you know things. See? So I said, I want to know now, where did the, in, the, the inspiration come from for the book, Planet Earth? Ah, it's a loaded question, that. <laughs> are a loaded answer. Because it's not as simple as, you know, you know what I mean? Like nothing is yet or no, and I just want to look at something. There, so. so some people might say, you go so in depth and bring up so much thing, but everything can. But let me try my best to kind of compress it. Yeah, you know? But the inspiration, uh, well, the, the understanding was always there, the state of consciousness, the understanding of reality. But there, you know, me live like the average person when it comes to, like, you know the truth. But everybody I live the lie. Yeah. And you just have this fear, faith. You know, you know what I mean? Every time you try to 
you know the right thing, you try to do it objectively. But everybody else over in the lion is just a lonely world over in the truth, objective truth. So it's like me used to struggle with that. Me used to struggle with that energy. People around me, around me and make excuses, you know, a lie about reality, rewrite history, stuff like that. People know, even when it, them find out they prove them wrong, it, you know, nobody, the ego, nobody know about, like, yo, you know, say they write and X, Y, Z, and then try to rewrite it. And you know, and you try to make them feel good. You try to love in the conventional, liar kind of way. Be liar, trust. You know, you, you, you try to do all these things in those kind of way. Where them can't work, it's impossible. I made it stuck in that cycle. I'm trying to, no, yeah. I said, when I try to do with that person, yeah, like me, I try to be good to you in the convention, the, one, the hugs, they try to appease you, make you feel good about your life and them type of vibe they go to hell, even though I know you're lazy, you're lazy, even though I know you're working, you need to work hard, uh, focus, etc. Even though I know say uh, that I intimidate you about me, and then I try to trim my existence to make you feel better. This is what I encountered in my surroundings, in my circumstances coming up. So you find, say, even though I knew these things, even though I knew enough, even though I observed, pay attention to certain things and get the knowledge, I wasn't really doing what I needed to do because I was an agreeable person. I was that type of person who just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Me just want to be, me want to be liked. By those important people. You know, my family, you know, my circumstances. I mean, you know, we'd befriend them. We'd just like the typical person. But me realize that this is the this is the thing that most people don't make it. This is the thing that yeah. most people don't make it out of certain things. Because we're psychologically chained to other people's opinions. So even if you know the right thing, I want to do it, you know, based on it, it intimidates somebody else. Somebody else who it intimidates at this you do and you need to do this the better way and this way deep down and behind all of that mess is just intimidation it's just that you know what me no say I lazy me lazy I mean I want to do something and people laugh after make me feel so I mean I want you to do it either me did not say all of that me I got to I mean I try to rewrite just like them a new reality that saw them being like having good wishes toward me me the one that to be true but unfortunately it's a lie but 2007 February 10th changed my entire life my son yeah. Him Zion, you know, drop out under some tragic circumstances. And in that moment, in that moment when I, I don't wish it for the worst enemy, that moment if you walk in a yeah. cold room, in a park, you see that it's the worst thing ever happened to me. Worse in the sense that. Yeah. Me did say about me and you know, he might have come do some great things so he never get yeah. to do and he might feel I go open quicker than mine and, you know that was my wish and him now go be as coward as me then him now go be as you know slave him now go be a slave to a psychological slave to people opinion and I say alright yeah. and then bam him gone you know, I think Clef and I like is here today, God, it's gone. But I realize the grief do me something. The grief do me something that needed to be done. In that moment, I didn't care about nobody's opinion. His life made no sense. So it released me, released me from the chains of other people's opinion. In that moment, it made me learn to say, everything. If me if me can use the full word and you know showing respect for your platform, I you know my expression already. But in the moment, still, me learn say not only they consider as like important and status and it it, 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 it was an illusion. If yeah. we couldn't walk so in another room, they go say yo, get up, come with me. If everything I invested my whole entire life into before that moment. If everything that I focused on couldn't release him from the pangs of debt, then it's it's it, 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 it is it, it's wasted effort. And it was in that moment that I had the courage to offend. 
I no longer felt like, oh, who would anyone any obligation? Like, yo, I'm going to try to make you feel. I didn't care at that moment. His yeah. death removed me from those illusions. For want a better word. His death gave me love. Better is the final level. Better is the final level. Um, is, yes, you, as related to that, is a very, very important point you touch upon. A point where me personally, as an as a, as a, a individual, I can relate to personally, you get me? Because I always share my story with them, you see me? As a man, you know, I don't really, know how to see it. But, you know, I'm a man, I share my story with them, man. Remember last year, I did go through a little, a little um, situation where, you know, my life was in danger and whatever. And, you know? Nearly, yeah. nearly lose my um, life. And then, for the next few months, I just sit down, you get me? I'm just sit down, I'm just start meditating and everything. Everything where them claim to say, oh, you're accomplished before. Everything where them say, oh, you know, you are a uh, flashy youth and whatever. I'm still going to meet upon them things. I'm say, no, it's no, it's no matter. No matter at all. So I remember October, December, when, because me leave from my parents' house, I said, I live on campus. You get me? I'm going to say, yo, mom's my level. I'm not going to come back and live here. Zimmy, I say. And she I said, no, you must come back because you know my parents and whatever. But the levels now is not necessarily for, for go on a... a, 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 a Attention seeking rant or whatever. It's more faithful to try to find myself. You get me? I say, try to find myself and, and find my true purpose. Because at the end of the day, when I live, please the masses, you know. You're not live at all, you see me? And at that level, is them really, really. That's why he's a man I must look up to. You get me? I say, because the level you reach, show me up and you see me something really adhere um, to. Okay. You see me? Boy, um, I'm, it's just a thing where most people. Don't see hey. and don't understand. You hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Most, people, most people don't understand them life. Everything will make you angry. Yeah. Everything will be a strong opinion. Man. It's a lie. Everything will be the strongest opinion man, that we bring with them and we with them. It's a lie. It's a complete illusion. Everything we are looking at based on like less than a fraction of, of a fraction of the, re of the reality of what they truly are. Just imagine the things that we are based on a strong opinion. Man. Yeah, watch a 30 second video. You know about it and want to kill somebody. And the 30 second video is not life itself. It's not everything where you're supposed to assess and base, base a real strong firm decision plan. You understand? And we now we not think objectively. We don't see nothing objectively. All we see are the label where them get. All we see is the label where them get and the short story where they tell. The man I drive a car, what the boy, the dog rich. Him not tell you that. So she open car door and gone on front seat. Boop. Breed. You are nearly one year old now, all of a sudden. Where you more 100 grand for the rear? I don't have that. But Jesus Christ, I think you did rich. I think you did have it. I never tell you that. Your imagination determined that. You thought that. You go make a decision based off of something you imagine. And this are the biggest problem we have in our life. These are the biggest problem. Everything, everything where, you, where everybody think of, everything where everybody feels to them no, is a lie. They have way have up your brother, they have way have up your sister. They have way have up this person for 10, 15 years and nobody not talk. All right, a lie. But well, you know what the problem why the lie can't lie, the lie can't fix? Ego. We know what stop. He said, shit, me spend 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. I'll be an idiot. I want an idiot for dear life. I want a big idiot forever. Yeah. You can't tell myself that I didn't want an idiot? No. So it can't change. Yeah. It, it can't go change. It can't ever change. And then the problem with change, the problem with change, when like it's so tough again, is simply because, um, what did I say now? What did I put this? What makes change tough? is because people know about my brother. People mm. are not, like if I said, people just bad and them wicked and them evil. It is just that we have the best intentions. But the problem is with subconscious reality, we're written by a lie for like as long as we live from, from you know, for your barn till your 30, for your barn till your 40, for your barn till your 50, for your barn till your 60, etc. Written by the lie. And a year is what a repetition. So it becomes second nature. It becomes your, your, your spontaneous reflex action toward everything. So even when your conscious reality, 
in 10 good things. You're subconscious. I'm going to fight again. For be the program where determine yeah. where you're going. Your subconscious are going to fight you, but it's like you're possessed by a demon. You know? So even yeah. though now you have these good intentions, this is why I'm saying people are just bad. So they have this intention now. You know, say I true that in you know, them conscious reality, and they believe that. But subconsciously, they're all ignorant. They're all ignorant. They will write them program. We write and make up the whole of them subconscious. And that's the problem there. So through the ego still in control of them now, them use an old ignorance to manipulate new knowledge. So therefore, them can't go away. That's why you see them all over social media, man. Yo, I want to fight against this, and I want to fight black people. That are nothing now change because the intention, the real motive of the people we are fight the war is still simply to be important. Not for dead for one card. Black Lives Matter. So Black yes. Lives Matter. Where them dead? No. George Floyd, nobody important. Where them just come and dance? You understand? It's, 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 we just want to be seen. We just want to be seen. That that's the truth. And until we fix these issues in ourselves, we can't change nothing. Everything will be one long discussion, and one long talking, and one long read. But we just want to hear our own voice. One's got chat shit and smell good and in a good clothes and people are system intelligent. You understand? People are system intelligent and that them are gonna sit. Yo, what I'm to you one time I drop the point on you and them shock. Them stun everybody. I say me, me smart and me this and me that. Bro, me just, me just want me just want a better world, a better place. For you. The people know so the thing where you come to that's like the, the things where you develop such a resentment for me for. Why you understand? You know me I say? Me just why you understand? Who me understand? That, that you not have to think that way. Why you say you not have to think and be that way? The things where you be to import and span and the things where you make intimidate the things where you say are success, the things where you feel like me have a wife. Why you say you not have to make me intimidate you? Ain't nothing to the things where you consider the most important thing. Because you get caught up trying to be. be somebody else, you never find your life. You never find the unique thing with you born for come do. You never find that. That's one of my biggest motivation. Yeah, a lot of people can just find a place there in them consciousness where they just know say, I don't have to kill myself. It is well, it's it, it good. You know what I'm saying? It is just like a man. It's just like a man who used to like me say all the time, you know? You know, it's for three and four days. Now you're all right. Now you have 10 million US. And you beg God, you beg God only one million, you get 10. And you, you book up one of your friends, we have 30. You, just, you broke again. You're worried again. You're strict again. You're rich too, bro. You, you, you're one of the rich what? them. I'm worried. You're one of the rich them, you know? Yeah. But you have to have JV richer when you get it. You know, last for half hour. Can you say a man cross up, just get 10 more plain, and you don't have it. You stress out again. You have to get them 10 plain because more people say me just as important as a man. Mm. We, are, we, are, we are addicted to a failure, we don't know. Because we can never have enough because we, we, we immature. This is why no relationship can work. Yeah. I could not fool yourself. I could not kid yourself. We have to read. We have, it's like we are, we are crackhead. It, it's like a crack. Crack. Like your next fix. A reality. It's like a crack. Your next fix is having where everybody else are. And you can never be enough. Like counting can't stop. So when you have enough, the ball about something, there's always an excuse, but the real problem is greed. Is that we don't know when to stop. The real problem is competition, Papa. The real problem is competition, brother. We can't happy, you know. Yeah. We can't happy, we can't have things, we can't all right, but are we yeah. are we are we gonna make we make we find that contentment there. How we not bond cause life full of challenges, you know. And some people are striving for this perfect world. This perfect world. You know, we, we see success as getting to that place where nothing else now ever go around. You get me? Success mm -hmm. that type of happiness then not last anymore. It it, it not last forever. So it's not a constant state. So how you stay as strive to do that? You are you are happy. Happiness in other world, there always so much challenges there, natural challenges. Then if I happy, I strive to be happy, brother. Then a half hour, I strive to be. 
Yeah, yeah, try to find a feeling in the last half hour every certain time. All right, cool. They get the 10 minutes and that. Good. You feel good. You'll be here and buy a pen for touch your road. You're mad at them. Something all is happening. Problem, um, problem is curly locks, you know. The problem is, you know, most people feel like happiness is an end result, you see me? But it's not. Happiness is not an end result, you know. Mm -hmm. Happiness is today, you get up, you get up food, you see me, and you're nice. But tomorrow, you now, I'm on step on your shoes and you're vexed. That's so what happiness is, but it's not an end result, you know. In, in my you mind, see? brother, in my mind, the human's purpose is mm. not, not to be happy, but to understand why. You're not always happy. It's just to understand yeah. reality. It's just to understand why you have to face it and why you have to deal with it. But we live in a system where whether we like it or not, we were groomed to believe in perfection. Yeah. Why? We groom to believe in a perfection and then one of the mockery if one of my favorite lines is, nobody's perfect, all right? Perfect. Why every time you use the word nobody's perfect, either you use it or somebody where you know I use it, just think back on your entire life right now. If when you use that phrase there, somebody never upset, either you are the person. Where your best yeah. for? If you believe that nobody perfect. Yeah. What we are left for? What we are left for and I broke up and I do a bag of things for when people have a fault. He left the toilet seat up or she, you know, cook on time. We're we, we not left for. We falls. Somebody have a slip up if you truly understand. So nobody's perfect. Just like when you have a three-year-old child and your budget for the fact that they more draw down things. Why you no budget say nobody's perfect? And then we would have lived better. But we no budget for that. We feel perfect. We feel perfect. Just watch the whole of the newscast then, bro. I mm. see what them do when them drag you through the mud. When them here say you're human. This man is a senator. And he had sex with another girl different from his wife. Oh my God, can you believe? Can't be oh my God, man. we're shocked. No man, this is, this is outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> you don't expect that from a human being. Like seriously. Think of how sick we are. We are live a, re a, a conscious reality. Nobody is perfect, and we don't believe that anybody is perfect. They know we live so bad. Mm. How somebody have a father will go crazy. How we live so how we live so terrible. Nobody is perfect, but how we live so bad, brother. Yeah. Why are we not just budget people say, all right? That person you have to do this, and I saw you go. Why we not why we not budget feet? And we just accept it before it even happens, just like we accept so that you they are three year old. We'd have, we'd have lived better, but we're, we're perfect. Mm. Perfection we are striving. I eat, a, I eat a damage your life. Nobody now accepts imperfections. How much are we? We have to edit the whole entire life. I have these pins and needles. We have beer things that we hide. Where we are hide it for? We are hide it for. We are hide it for if nobody's perfect. I know it's funny, you know. It's funny, you know. Most people want to realize that. All right, the whole, every time, as I say, the whole concept of nobody perfect come up. It's always me I say to you, you see me, I say, and never me, I look into myself and I say, yo, nobody's perfect, you know, you see me. And when you think about it, you now, every time when people use that, that analogy, they have to see it for themselves, you know, but tomorrow now, they do something, and you say, yo, you correct them, I say, here I go on. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. You get like me. Me. I'm hungry Fix. because I'm perfect. Fix, I hate you. You see yeah, me. You I'm that. perfect, I'm good, I'm all right. It's a trick, it's an illusion. Once we realize these things, we can truly learn how, how to criticize and how to be criticized. Uh, I, and, how, and how to be unbothered. We can learn how to love. We can learn how to trust. We can learn how to be loyal. Because these things are not, they're not like one form. Mm. It, it, it's not rigid. It's flexible. All these, these kind of impulses, these, these things are not, you not take like one form. Love is a, come on, you love somebody, you hug them, you kiss them. No. When you love somebody sometimes, you say, you're too, you're too, you're lazy, man. You're big and stink and lazy. You need to get up and you need to go out there. You only have one life. Me hate if you do that. What do you think you raise a real child? See, problem, you know, especially in a modern society. A beer, when they, when they describe them as snowflake, you know, and call them a foreign. Phone is charging. Everybody get a medal for coming in last. Oh, you are go, oh, you are go earn, you keep. That's why you have people easily offended because they have a wrong idea of the world. So somebody behind something to them. 
Somebody to pass something, give them right at it. You just have the princess. You're a princess and you are this and that. At the worst, we are a reason. You're a princess. What? You are something you earn. Which princess? What? You better go out and fight for that princess there. You come tell me about you're a princess and you're this and that. It's a, you see the illusion there? It's a destroy what we're coming to do. You see, without challenge, mankind cannot function in them. Brother, what do you think relationship are going for? This, this idea, relationship. A challenge is to make relationship work, you know. Challenge is, you know. Brother, you know, me, all right, let me tell you something. Yep. Me, I come from a time. See? Yeah. Where? When you get a certain type of woman, is a certain kind of way, we have a certain type of class about it. You see the mm. feeling with that gear, brother? You see the feeling with that gear? Are they nothing compared to it? Yeah. Like it, it motivates you, like, yes, it tells you that you are, you are, you are the man. No idea. Yeah, if you ask me the directions, like you hear me say, if you ask somebody directions nowadays, like, if you ask a girl directions, hey, you know which part? Walton part there, eh? right at the one plate. You get naked picture and she not even have your number. <laughs> the challenge gone. Yeah. No challenge. And they remove the challenge out of life. Then man become dormant. Because we now feel the things where we, 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 we make we feel useful. That's why so much youth are coming suicide, brother. Yeah. Because they're useless. The rules in our society now, especially the male, they become useless. Like you get, you're not needed. You're not the home no more. You know, if you're not needed, it's like a the worst feeling. Once yeah. upon a time when they know so you go to the road, you fight feet, you carry tea, and your woman appreciate it, and you are the head of the house, and we are work, and this I make a man function, and this you have something to do and something to look forward to. We have a society where say man in a body now, bro. Man in a body, the young youth them grow up as nobody important, nobody significant. No challenge, nothing, no useless. That's the worst way for being, the worst thing to God is wake in, bro. No aim, no direction. Just wake. And a body, them bad, no for them, in a brother. And a terrible, them terrible. And I'm just wake. That's all. Easy. Them just wake. No purpose. No usefulness. No. No, nothing. Just, just wake. And when you see somebody else with us, willing to face the challenge with him socialize against. Where you think I got? K no kill able. Yeah. Because I'm socialized against the monopliftment and a psychology. Yeah, you can't be hate me. You have a pity, you have, have compassion. Because I'm going through something psychological, something that he doesn't even understand. To the fullest, because I must socialize against facing the nature of existence, facing work, facing hardship. So when you see somebody else that do it and, and it call it, 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 it that, that person's life become a judge of him life, person in a trouble. You know? Because something objective, I tell him that, that he need for you, but guess what? I know this, everybody I do. So they have to get rid of that person where I show me that this we need for you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I follow Brother, you, just, ever just... you ever have something? You ever have something for work out? Like, yeah, try to figure out something. Yeah. And you frustrated with body and thump out a wall. And but the moment you figure, the moment, the one moment you figure it out, like, yeah. yeah. So it work. You're good again. And you're humble and your spirit calm and you're the best person again. And while again you don't want to thump out a wall, just imagine a youth born. And stuck in that emotion if I'm born till I'm 30, if I'm born till I'm 40, if I'm born till I'm 50. Not figuring it out, not having an understanding. And can come again. This we are face from people. But the face in the people is fear, because fear comes from a lack of understanding where you look at. Fear. It has been a believe in a hater. Nobody no hate me now. They just provoke something in a him. Or her. Or make them question their own ability. Mm. And them vex with themselves. Yeah. You never know they're done. Them vex with themselves, they show them something where they need to them, them should I do. And them know say so you're supposed to do it. Take work. So what if you're facing a people of fear? A shitload of fear. 
In time you are the right thing. Fear, like, wow. Me not have the life, you know. Me not have it all together, you know, come here try service 10 ends one time. Mm. And I think that you just focus on them be a sardine. Eh? And I share a ton of meal with dad. Till him turn big liar. And look for me. For what happened to me. Mm. But he throws a light against that type of hard work. Because he's here saying so to follow the 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 this the him to follow the, the, the code. In here, all I'm like going to be appreciated by others. Like validation is outside of Validation. Outside of self that lives. Everything we consider important are the girlfriend, are the house, are the cars. When I have a girlfriend, I left him, I'm mad, I'm mad, you know. Break a chip, you know. <laughs> you pray me a deal. You can't go take it. Because guess what? We, 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 hope we store up them things as our identity and can't say we self a function without them. And then we are going to try to make them stay in a one farm forever. So you try to control the girl, you try to control the man, you try to control everything. If it stay the way out, you identify with it. Because if it change, you, you think you, you don't have no idea where life is. That's why they don't allow nobody around them to grow. That's why nobody don't like change because of them identity. We never accept yet say the world is supposed to change. Because to we are we identity. Oh, my identity just keep changing. So if you control my identity, because we don't have the inner character, the 95% of the way. I may have been modest when I say 95. I would have more than Yeah, man, it's wicked. You see me? But the key to freedom is discipline. Yeah, man, most of are internalized in the monastery. Wi Fi, great shake. Yeah. So, I say, I analyze where, where, where the man I say, you get me, I say, because at the end of the day, we'll have it there, you get me, and I don't know, personally, I feel like say, as humans, we, we strive for some things that are unrealistic, you get me, so we strive for some ideologies that don't make no sense. For instance, a prime example, relationship requires, is it me? For instance, the two of them break up or whatever, take a taxi, run, go to the airport, they get me, I say, pop, boat, streak, everything, run through, fly away from playing and all them things, they get me, I say, because I didn't think, I didn't think they were, were give you unrealistic perspectives of what life is, kind of thing in the middle sense, they get me, I say, but love that, re love that reason there, they get me, I say, but Mr. Curly Locks, there's something very yeah. important. And my viewers really, really, really find it very interesting. Something I actually want to bring to you still. You get me? As I said, I'm a lover of culture. I love dance. I love reggae culture and all of that. So, yeah. the blurb, what I bring to you is all right. We know that dance and culture has evolved. Dance and culture has evolved tremendously over the past 10 years, um, you know, give or take. So, along the lines of evolution, we've moved from out and badly to young badness. You get mm -hmm. me? I said, move from that type of dancer to know a current type of dancer. So I kind of want to know your um, perspective on that and your, your opinions on that. In from terms of... To young bodies. In terms of the transition from... Um, you see, that is the... is the Achilles heel for growth and evolution. Is, is that... Um, sometimes I always say, I wish you need have sense. You get like couple more hundred years in your life. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's not so. And as I said about imaging and labeling, we have a real destructive habit we develop and um, it, it, it ruins our life. And then, as I said, these images tell stories. So let's say, for example, um, somebody grew up and their experience, based on them experience, them know now, say, oh, wow, we learn all these great things. But we have to take sense to being old. So young people shun old. You know what I mean? When I used to come up, I think Garnet Silk was like 70 when he dead. And yeah. the dog dead when he dead when he 28. You see, we have about psychology. Mm. Because he was wise. He was wise. So he was not young. He was dead when he was 28.